Here's some straight talk. If you're planning on buying any tech product in India, you should do it only around the Diwali time when the Amazon Great Indian Festival and Flipkart's Big Billion Days sale go live. And this year's deals are particularly crazy, especially on Flipkart's Big Billion Days sale. And that's probably also because a lot of the brands launch their phones at a very higher price and there's some sort of price correction happening at the moment, which whatever it is, we are getting the best deals right now and when you have deals on almost every single product that you can think of that have launched throughout the year it can get really confusing for you to pick one particular thing for your use case so what i've specifically done for this video is i've you know carefully curated a list of three phones across different price categories and let out ones that i don't like and the ones that i don't like could get controversial so you guys have to stay tuned to see which one i've actually left out and particularly mentioned that you shouldn't buy now I've done this primarily just for you guys so that you can make the right purchase decision not just for yourself but for your friends and your family so you must share this video with them especially for somebody looking for the best deals on phones around you know this Diwali season. Now if you don't know me yet I'm Ashad you're watching Tracking Tech English. Let's not waste any more time let's jump right into the deals. Now starting with the Redmi A1, this is the perfect phone for anybody looking for a first time smartphone experience and this is a new launch from the you know brand Redmi as well. Now, the standard features of this phone are specifically the fact that you get a leather like plastic you know exterior so the in hand feel is very good and it's running a very minimal and clean installation of Android Go. Apart from that you get a MediaTek Helio A22 inside which is what is powering the phone. Of course it's not the most powerful chip out there but it works for what it is worth and you get a 5000 mAh battery as well. Plus you've got a 6.52 inch IPS LCD panel, it's an HD plus panel and you've got an 8 megapixel camera on the rear and a 5 megapixel camera for selfies on the front. Now all this is available for an asking price of just rupees 6500 which is already very low and you get an additional 10% discount on SBI cards which actually brings it down to 5849 which is fantastic plus Redmi is throwing a free earphone of about 1000 rupees along with it so what more could you ask for? A great basic Android Go experience for first time smartphone user. Now before we move on to the next phone, if you like the kind of deals that we've presented, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it and give us your support and love. Now I'll be honest, I really don't know much about the under 10,000 category because I haven't tracked that space because there weren't many good options out there. So I did endless Sajid's help for it. So thank you Sajid. And the second phone in this list was a surprise to me because this is the Vivo T1X. Now it was a surprise because it's from brand Vivo and Vivo is generally not known for pricing their devices the best but the T1X is a great option for anybody who wants a good smartphone experience because it comes with a Snapdragon 680 chip inside it and you get 4 plus 64 GB in the base variant of the phone and apart from that you also do get an FHD plus in cell display so that's good around 10,000 FHD plus is very good and for a 5000 mAh battery phone it's got a nice slim design as well it looks good and apart from that you've got a 50 megapixel camera on the rear with a 2 megapixel macro camera and on the front you've got an 8 MP selfie camera as well. Now these are not only great specs for the price but it also performs really well. We've tested it out and we do like it. Now the final phone in the under 10,000 category is the Poco M4 Pro. Can you even believe it? The price has gone down by that much. You can effectively buy this phone for about 9,749 rupee with you know the additional discounts and the bank offers, specific bank offers as well and for the specs it offers that is very very good pricing. Basically you get a Helio G96 chip inside. You you get a 6.43 inch full HD plus 90 hertz AMOLED panel and apart from that you also do get a 5000 mAh battery with 33 watt fast charger within the box. Then there's a 64 megapixel primary camera, an 8 megapixel ultra wide, a 2 megapixel macro, a 16 megapixel camera on the front and you've got expandable storage and support for high res audio as well. Wait, something's really wrong with this deal. This is just too crazy. Well. What could be wrong with the deal is the fact that a lot of Poco users have been complaining about their motherboards dying but thankfully Poco has taken heed of that fact and it's not happened too much of late so hopefully that shouldn't be a problem with users of uh, you know Poco phones so if it is then that is one reason why you might not want to consider this but otherwise the deal is fantastic. Now we're moving on to the list of phones that I think are the best phones under rupees 20,000 and starting with 
this Motorola, the Moto G82. Now the price of the G82 has come down to 18,500 and it's perfect for lovers of stock Android, clean, minimal Android experiences and a good design as well. And I say particularly good design primarily because the G82 has a massive 5,000 mAh battery inside and it weighs only 173 grams. It's very light for a phone with such a big battery. The rest of the specs are also good. You get a 6.6 inch 120Hz AMOLED panel, a Snapdragon 695 processor and you get a 50 plus 8 plus 2 camera setup on the rear along with the 16 megapixel camera on the front. And that's not it. The 5000 mAh battery also supports 30 watt fast charging which is fast for today's standards. Now I know that a lot of other Snapdragon 695 phones are priced cheaper but this one's my favorite of the lot primarily because of the way it's designed, the way it feels in hand and the way it performs in general. Alright, the next phone in my list is is one that I've talked about at length in 2022 and that is the Realme 9 Pro Plus. Now that phone is currently available for under Rs 18,000 and it is by far the best camera phone that you could buy under 25,000. It's also by far the best camera phone that you can buy under 20,000. Now that's not it. It's not just the cameras that are great. It's got a very premium experience with fantastic haptic feedback, a very good Realme UI experience, and of course, good performance as well. You should go and check out a lot of the videos that we made, one of which I'll just link it right here. Go and check the full review out and you'll get to know exactly what the Realme 9 Pro Plus feels like. It's been a great experience with the Realme 9 Pro Plus till now. Next up, I have the Redmi Poco Duo. Yes, I'm talking about the Redmi K50i and the Poco F4, both of which have been discounted and are now available at 20,000 rupees. At that price, these are great bargains. Now, starting off with the Redmi K50i, this one came out of nowhere and surprised me. It's got a Dimensity 8100 chip inside. It's a very powerful chip and now that's available for under rupees 20,000, which makes it the most affordable phone with Dimensity 8100 under rupees 20,000. And for context, it's more powerful than the Snapdragon 870 as well. The only problem with the phone is of course the fact that it has an LCD display and a lot of people don't like that. Yes, it's an LCD 144Hz display, but that's something that you have to contend with for people who like an AMOLED panel. I have the other option for you and that is the Poco F4, which comes with the Snapdragon 870 chip inside. Again, if you want all your doubts answered, I'm not going to do that in this video. I have a very detailed comparison between the two. A link should pop up right now. Now coming to the phones that have been discounted and are now available under rupees 30,000. Now this one could get controversial purely because of the exclusions in this list. But uh, let's talk about the inclusions first. And the first on my list is the Nothing Phone 1. Now this one, of course, took everyone by surprise with the kind of design language and, uh, you know, the glyph lighting, cool, unique pattern that you get on the rear. The design is still a stunner. And in this price category, it definitely sets itself apart with the kind of camera performance that you get which is pretty decent and of course you've also got very good clean minimal stock android like experience plus you also do get decent fast performance as well yes the software has had issues over a period of time but nothing's been very quick to update it so i'm glad about that so the nothing phone one should definitely be in your consideration and if you want to know more about it there are tons of videos on the nothing phone one a link should pop up right now you should go check that out now coming to the second four in this list and if you remember i clearly mentioned when i made a video about the best phones under rupees 40 that the Xiaomi 11T Pro could actually become the best phone under Rs 30,000. Well, that's exactly what has happened this season. The Xiaomi 11T Pro is available for 29,000 along with all the discounts. And for that price, you get Snapdragon 888 and you get a fantastic display with Dolby Vision support. And you also get a great set of stereo speakers. The kind of sound that you get from it is fantastic. And you get high-res audio support as well. This is a phone tailor-made for anybody who loves watching videos on the go for somebody who's into Netflix, for somebody who watches a lot of YouTube, the Xiaomi 11T Pro is the way to go. The only problem is that some tech nerds out there don't like MIUI, but MIUI is very well tuned for this phone and it's a flagship experience. So it's very smooth, very fast, very responsive. But the camera experience is not that great. And I would say a phone like the Nothing Phone 1 and the Realme 9 Pro Plus take better pictures than the Xiaomi 11T Pro, at least the main cameras do. Anyway, a detailed video on the phone is already up on the channel. Go check it out if you have more doubts. Now the final phone in this list, I haven't had a chance to test this one out yet, but I'm hearing great things about it and I'm sure that it is great because this is the Realme GT2. It comes with Snapdragon 888 and it is the most affordable phone with Snapdragon 888 available right now. It's available for just Rs 27,000. The rest of the specs are great too. You've got 
an AMOLED HDR10 Plus display, 120 hertz refresh rate, 1300 nits of peak brightness, and of course you've got a 5000 mAh battery inside with support for 65 watt fast charging as well. And you've got a 50 plus 8 plus 2 camera on the rear, a 16 megapixel camera on the front, UFS 3.1 storage. The works basically something that defines a flagship killer. You've got all that ingredients inside the Realme GT2, and anybody I've uh, you know interacted with and you know who's used the Realme GT2 seems to love it a lot. I do like the design, the paper-like finish that you get on it, which is inspired uh, from the Realme GT2 Pro as well. It's very, very good. Now, this one was kind of underrated and this one definitely needs, you know, some love. And with this discount season, it's got some love. Now, before I move on to the next set of recommendations, there are two phones that are missing from this list. That is the Pixel 6a and the iPhone 11. And I don't recommend buying them right now at the risk of attracting, you know, the ire of the fans who will take to the comments for sure. But I'm not recommending the Pixel 6a primarily because you've got much better options in this price range. And especially when you look at the display performance, the Pixel 6a has a slow refresh rate. It heats up, it throttles. It's not a great experience. I have not had fun using the phone, even after the Android 13 experience. Of course, the bugs have reduced, but it's still not a great phone to use, except for the fact that it takes great pictures. That's about it. Everything else on that phone is not that great. Now, I'm not including the iPhone 11, not because it's a bad phone, but because it's got an IPS LCD panel one. Uh, most phones have an AMOLED panel. Not that I distinguish between them, but AMOLED is definitely better tech. It looks better. And apart from that, uh, you know, the other reason is that it's a 4G phone, a 4G iPhone in 2022. I don't know if you should pick one up because 5G is just around the corner. All right, now moving on to the best phones under rupees 40,000. And the first phone in my list is none other than my favorite, the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE 5G. The effective price of this phone is now just rupees 32,000. And for that price, you get IP68 rating, you get wireless charging, you get four plus five years of assured software plus security updates, and you also get a telephoto camera. Now, this is a set of specs that's generally not seen in phones in this price range. Forget about this price range, even higher, it's not available. Now, I know that a lot of folks are concerned about the Exynos 2100 inside it. So yeah, I mean, it's not the best performer, of course. So if you're a gamer, then this is definitely not the phone that you should be looking at. In fact, uh, S20 FE 5G would probably be a better option. And the S20 FE 5G is available for just rupees 27,000. It's a very similar phone. The only difference is that you won't get as many software updates but yeah i mean if you are okay with that then you can go for the s20 fe 5g instead and that would be in the under 30,000 category now coming to the next phone and this one's the realme gt2 pro and i was surprised at the deal that i saw and i felt bad for anybody who picked up the realme gt2 pro recently because now it's available for 35,000 rupees at 35,000 it is of course the most affordable phone with snapdragon 8 gen 1 and you've got a 2k display on the front which is very very good the only problem with the gt2 pro is that the camera performance is not the best out there, you do get better cameras on other phones in this price range. Even something like the Pixel 6a takes better photos. Anyway, we have detailed a review of the GT2 Pro comparing it to a few other phones. A link should pop up right now. You should go check that out. So the first iPhone that I'm recommending and in the final phone in my list of phones under rupees 40,000 is the iPhone 12. Now the iPhone 12 is a great phone even today in 2022. It's a phone that you should consider. Apple will definitely keep supporting it for a few more years with software updates. And you know that software updates reach on time on iPhones and apart from that you get great hardware internal hardware especially uh, you know the uh, chip inside is still very powerful more powerful than many other Android phones out there as well plus you also get great camera experience and of course video recording chops too the only problem with the iPhone 12 is that it's got a smaller 6.1 inch display which is a problem for a lot of people but I don't see that as a problem uh, per se and it's got that notch which looks ugly to me. Now we're jumping to the under 50,000 category. The next category, the first phone in that list is the Xiaomi 12 Pro. And the Xiaomi 12 Pro is a great, great phone for camera enthusiasts because the kind of pictures that you can get from it is fantastic. However, what's not fantastic is the performance and the battery life. It's not like the performance is bad, but the battery life is definitely bad, but the performance could have been better. Now you must be wondering, what about the Vivo X80? Well, Vivo X80 and 80 Pro don't seem to have any discounts right now. So if that that happens in phase two, I'll definitely bring that up. And now I know that I was talking about phones under rupees 50,000, but just for rupees 2,000 more, because you're spending 50,000, you can now get the Motorola H30 Ultra. Now the H30 Ultra at 52,000 is a steel deal. You get Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. You also get a 200 megapixel camera, which of course is just numbers, but in my tests, they are performing well. 
And apart from that, you also do get 125 watt fast charging as well, which is something that Motorola has never done. And let's not forget, you know, Android uh, 12 uh, with clean stock experience, all of that. It's a really decent phone to consider. And especially at that price, it's a fantastic deal. Anyway, my review is coming soon. So stay tuned for that one. And finally, my favorite deal this year, the iPhone 13. Flipkart's been teasing that this phone will be available under rupees 50,000. You know what? The iPhone 13 and the iPhone 14 are equally good phones. There's not much separating the two. And therefore, the iPhone 13 is literally almost 30,000 rupees cheaper than the iPhone 14. It just doesn't make sense to buy the iPhone 14 now. Pick up the iPhone 13 at this price. It's a definitely a great buy. Now, you must be wondering that, you know, what about the iPhone 12 instead? Well, the iPhone 13 does take good pictures, better pictures than the iPhone 12. That I'll tell you. Now, coming to my favorite premium phones that are available uh, today in India on discount and starting off with the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus. Now, why am I recommending the S22 Plus over the S22 is primarily because the S22 Plus doesn't heat up as much as the S22. And of course, it's got better battery life as well. Now, the S22 Plus also has a larger flat screen display and it's got a great set of cameras. Uh, in fact, it's got a proper 3x telephoto, which is like the iPhone 13 Pro and the 13 Pro Max. So yeah, the S22 Plus is definitely worth considering and it's available on Amazon. And what's also also available on Amazon is its elder brother, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. And apparently it is going to be priced at rupees 92,000. But there's something odd that I noticed on Amazon is that Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is already available for 85,000 rupees. So I don't know how this deal and discount works. So yeah, the price of that phone has dropped drastically, but the value has not and the performance has not. I, I think that it's one of the best phones that Samsung has made in a long time. Only if it came with Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, it would have been even better. So I'm waiting for the S23 Ultra right now. So the S22 Ultra, of course, comes with an S Pen inside. It's, it comes with great performance, a fantastic set of cameras, the works. It is probably the best Android phone at the moment. Also, what will be available for around Rs. 90,000 is the smaller iPhone 13 Pro, which even today is a fantastic, fantastic phone. The only problem is that it will be available in a 128 GB variant. So yeah, so the storage might be limited for, you know, the fact that you can take Pro Raw pictures, ProRes, uh, you know, video, all of that. But yeah, the 13 Pro is a fantastic phone. I've used the 13 Pro Max, uh, you know, for the longest time. So yeah, so uh, the 13 Pro is also really, really good. All right. So those were my list of the best phones that I think that you guys should purchase uh, during this season of sales. Maybe there'll be more phones that go on sale and I'll definitely talk about them in the future. But I hope this definitely helps you. So share this video with your friends and family. Until next time, this is Aishwad signing off. Keep tracking and stay safe.